So this video is going to be a little bit different from my usual videos because this video is dedicated to my dear sister Adriana who passed two Saturdays ago. Obviously this has been a sad time and um, I want to honor her and you always would request a wet soul video. So this video is in her memory and all and the whole video is just on what sold items. So before we get started, I just want to tell you a little bit about my sister. So she had the most generous heart, sometimes to a fault, because she would give away her last penny if she saw anybody that was in need or that was homeless. And um, she was like that ever since she was little, when we were both. And gosh, she was just quirky in so many ways. Like she loved pink. She was really into shabby chic. And yet, um, she never wore anything but black, black sunglasses, black jackets, black clothes, black shoes. Um, and then I encouraged her to volunteer at a homeless shelter. So she found the Salvation Army in um, the nearby town of Bremerton. And she would go over there three, four days out of the week and just, you know, she was a friend to the friendless and a comfort to those who needed comfort. And she didn't consider them less than. She made a lot of friends at this homeless shelter. And it was so interesting because they actually did a life celebration last October for her when we thought she was gonna pass then. And the captain, um, which is basically the person that runs the Salvation Army shelters, um, basically said that he had uh, so much reservations about her when she first started showing up. And he was very suspicious of her because he's like, who is this person that's just showing up? And like, you know, bringing people water and snacks and, you know, clothes and, and for a long time, he just didn't know like what her motives were, but uh, her motives were never anything but good. Anyways, her nickname was Frog in Spanish when we were little. And so whenever I see a frog, I always think of her and I have a few in my house. So now when I look at them, I will definitely think of my sister. So. I just wanted to share that with you and now we can get right into the video. So let's just get started with this first item, which is this arts and crafts geometric three panel stained glass votive candle holder. It is really pretty. I didn't actually put candles in it to see what it looked like in the evening, but I'm sure it was very cool. But this sold for $44 on Etsy. I picked it up at the Goodwill for $5.99. Obviously, I had to put a ton of bubble wrap on it, but I was really happy with such a fast sale it sold within the month. Then this next one is this vintage 1940s Art Deco Ohio Rum Rail Tilt Ball Blue Pitcher. It sold for $55. It's hard for me to remember what I paid for this, but I doubt that it was very much, maybe $3 to $5, just because I didn't know, you know, if it would sell well or not. And it did take over a year, but it did finally sell, which is surprising because it's such a cool piece. The next item I totally fell in love with, it's this rare champagne Perrier Puet ashtray. So it's an ashtray, which they are super hot right now. It's this beautiful green glass. It's got advertising on it and it's from France. So it has a lot going for it, but I did price it high because there wasn't very many of these at $134. So it did take at least nine months to sell, but I was really excited when it finally did. 
And that also sold on Etsy. And then this next one is this vintage rad retro surfboard style 1960s wood hot dog skateboard. <laughs> it's so important to use as many keywords as you possibly can. It makes such a big difference when people are looking for your item. I picked this one up at an estate sale in Portland in December and it sold, I think, I think I can't even remember maybe a couple months ago for $95 so super happy with that sale as well and then these ones are these adorable little uh fiesta Halloween punk pink pumpkin face pattern happy pumpkins and these were actually a little bit bigger than what they look like on the screen they're like little vases and I paid uh ten dollars a piece for these but I'm a fiesta collector so I knew there was somebody out there that was gonna love them they did sit for a while I'm gonna say probably eight months or so but they did finally sell for a hundred and thirty five dollars this next one I held on to quite a long time, over a year and a half, but it was it's this uh, it was this vintage New Zealand tea ariki onihanga woolen mills travel rug tuk tuk tu pattern. <laughs> And um, I picked this up for $45 at the local antique mall. And like I said, I had it listed for quite a while, but I knew that these were rare and I knew that somebody that that maybe had some ties to New Zealand would see it. It did finally sell for $299. This next one I totally fell for this uh, vendor at an antique mall was working on her display case and I saw this and as soon as she told me that she had bought this at, in France and brought it home I said I will totally buy that I thought I paid um, up for it because it was ten dollars and it wasn't very big maybe um, three inches but I was super happy when it sold for seventy four dollars within a month on Etsy these I thought were so cute I picked up two of them I paid five dollars a piece they're these mid-century uh, 1960s Fitz and Floyd sun faces I just thought they were so cute and I listed each one for $24 as you can see this was made in Japan and uh, they sold right away for $24 a piece moving on to eBay so I picked this up it was a uh, Patty's industrial hygiene and toxicology um, book um, and I paid $10 for it because they had actually looked them up. But even at $10, when this one sold for $135 just recently on eBay, I was thrilled. So I still have another one of these. It's a different version. So maybe that one will sell as well. The next item up, which I just recently shared on a, a previous video, is this vintage boho handmade multicolor jewel tone velvet embroidered duvet crazy quilt. And this I picked up at a picker sale when I went to go pick up some auction items. They had done four auctions. They were tired and wanted to get out of this house. And so basically, I just, you know, people were allowed to go in, make make piles, and then make an offer. So I had a huge pile, mostly linens. This was in this one. She was a master seamstress, the lady that owned the house. And so I think she made this. It was just stunning. And it sold for $250. And I don't know, I maybe had, I mean, I made it, the offer on the pile was $175. And gosh, so maybe I was into this, uh, you know, a couple dollars at the most. So good sale there. And then this next one I picked up at a different estate sale, two of them, one in orange and one in green. And a viewer said that they might 
glow in the dark, but I wasn't able to test them. They sold so fast. And I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw that these actually comped for over $70. So I sold the orange one for $73. And then the same buyer asked if she could have a discount. So I sold her this one for $63. And these sold within just a couple of days, if you can believe it. So whenever I find hand-tooled leather purses, I snap them up. Um, sometimes they sit for a while and sometimes they sell really fast. This one was really small, but it was just so cute and really in good condition. So the buyer that picked this one up also picked up a, a different one, also a hand-tooled leather purse. And then this one sold for $38 on eBay. Nowadays, I actually pick up religious iconography. This one was kind of special though. I, If I remember right, I think I paid $5 at a church rummage sale. And this is a 1950s chalkware statue of Our Lady of Fatima of the Virgin Mary. Um, and I think um, probably from the 1950s and she was really heavy, but she was just so sweet. And so this one sold for $85 on eBay and she took a couple months to sell. So not very long. And this one sold super quick. Maybe I underpriced it, but I did do some research. It, I felt like it was a fair price, but it was this beautiful large Art Nouveau pink glass rhinestone brooch and it sold for $68 on eBay. So pretty. Look how pretty that is. And I found it at a local pop-up flea market for $5. This next one was bought by one of my viewers, Sarah who bought this beautiful frame carpet bag, handbag with gold tone hardware. So pretty. Whenever I find any kind of carpet bags or needlepoint purses, I definitely pick them up. A lot of them go into the store, but this one actually went online and it sold on eBay to Sarah for $50. The next item I think is just amazing. I picked this um, Boy Scout beret up back in June when I was in France, but it sat at the store in the back for a long time. And finally last month I brought it home and actually listed it. It had so many pins and badges on it. And it was really interesting because I picked it up in France and there was definitely some French emblems, but then there was also some English pins, Lancashire, Cheshire, Cheshire, um, see Lancashire, Cheshire, Cheshire, Cheshire. Um, anyways, um, it did not take very long to sell at all. So it sold for $54 within the month of listing on eBay. So do you watch the Nurse Flipper? That is a really fun channel to watch. She does a lot of research what sold videos. And so I learned about teacups from her. And so now whenever I see a beautiful teacup that has a lot of like design and it's very well done, I will look it up. And I have been pleasantly surprised that I have started selling teacups on occasion when I find them. This one sold for $33. It is this beautiful English Blindheim Tuscan teacup plus saucer. And I picked this up in Victoria and I think I paid like $3.50 for it. This I had listed for a long time. I don't often sell jewelry. I wish I did because I pick up so much of it. Most of it winds up going to the store. But this is this really cool Phoenix Rising pendant um, with these little stones in them. I don't know what I'm terrible about like stones or gems or anything like that. They kind of look like malachite. Um, and this sold on eBay for $44. 
Next up, we're going to talk about um, Facebook. So um, I absolutely love picking up paint by numbers and they are kitschy and fun and they're very hot right now. This one didn't even have a frame, but it was large. It was a 24 by 18 and it was in really good condition. And then, so this one, or and look, it still has a lot of wear on the back. Um, but this one sold for $105 on Facebook Marketplace. This one I picked up at uh, one of the antique malls where I have my booth from the Treasure Queen. I always found, find great deals from her. And I didn't know what it was at first, but it really did remind me of Curtis Jarris. And so when I got it home, I noticed that there was a signature. And so I looked it up and sure enough, it was a collaboration between William Vos and Curtis Jarris. And I could only find one other one. I priced it at $395 and I took an offer of $300 on this. And I paid, I think, $45. I love picking up retro, even reproduction phones because they sell. They sell, clocks sell. I sell a lot of clocks even if they're not working. And this one was definitely a reproduction, probably from the 90s, but it sold for $40 and it's just this adorable, really pretty blue color. Then I absolutely love this vintage brass, um, really elaborate Regency style uh, gold frame. And it had a little violet print, but you know, obviously somebody could take that out. It wasn't very big, maybe five inches tall, but it, oh, seven by five, but it sold for $44 on Facebook marketplace. This again was part of that big picker sale. So this is just a uh, grandma's flower garden uh, quilt twin topper. So it's not even finished, but look at all the work that went into this quilt. That That is incredible. Probably took hours and hours and hours and the pattern is just absolutely beautiful. So it really wasn't a surprise that this sold within a day or so for $115. Well, I hope you enjoyed this What Sold video. If you'd like me to do more of these, just let me know. I could always do that in the future. And if you really enjoy this kind of content, I have a great recommendation for you. Go check out uh, Courtney at From Below Buddies. Um, I have learned so much watching her videos. They're very informative. Almost all of them are what solds. And um, anyways, they're just fun to watch. And she's got a great personality. And of course, if you get out to do some thrifting, I certainly hope the thrifting gods will be with you and you find some fabulous stuff. And otherwise, I will see you on the next video.